All right, we are here with El Dirty Squirrel. How you doing, Squirrel? Howdy, howdy. How's What's going? up, everybody? Squirrel is a pretty good Twitch partner, and mm -hmm. streams and does things, mm -hmm. and has been, I do things. You've been using Hover a lot, right? Yes. Um, yes. So we're gonna talk about this because you know I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it, and uh, good. I know he's he's out of costume. He's he's not a squirrel right I now. I don't know what you're talking about. Is no, it's it's the lower half about. that's still a squirrel, right? Don't worry. Yeah, all nutty. Yeah, all <laughs> nutty. Um, um, yeah. So, um, Squirrel's been using Hover a lot. So, for those who don't know what Hover is, um, now, from what I've gathered, is it's kind of like TikTok, but it's like targeting the streaming community. Do I have that right? Correct. I think some people even call it Twitch talk. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, so um, so is that is that pretty much, like what makes it different from TikTok? So, uh, and and this is only coming from I have no stock in tick or in <laughs> in uh, hover, so this is mm -hmm. all from my experience of using it in the last uh probably two three months. Um, what what really drives it different is it's really targeted for Twitch streamers and gamers. So what you're seeing there is usually a lot of gaming and Twitch memes, hmm. clips, um, stuff referring to Hover or Twitch. Um, and and the really cool thing is everybody's page and, and profile links back to Twitch, mm -hmm. which I think is super cool because not any other platform, like, right? Like Twitter doesn't want you to get off Twitter. TikTok doesn't want you to get off TikTok, yeah. but Hover kind of wants you to get off. They want you to discover people and go check them out. So that I think is what's driving that a little bit different than TikTok. Gotcha. And there's not as, not nearly as much dancing. Not nearly as, oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. No dancing allowed. I, I got it. <laughs> okay. So, so, um, is it just an app or is there a website? It is. It's both, um, both a browser and an app. Hmm. Um, now the browser has limited function compared to the app, but it's, it's still all new. And, um, you can actually, get on the app on your phone and pull your clips right from Twitch, edit them and upload them right there on the spot. So that's really cool. Even, oh, really? Um, you can even, I know everybody hates the horizontal format for, for clips, but they actually have it where you can cut out your face and put it above your clip. So they've really uh, made it user friendly to get your clips and cut them out real easy mm. and put them up there. Gotcha. Mm. So um, what do you find that people use more? Are people using like the app more or the, the desktop more? It's hard to say, and I've made a couple of memes about it. Like, which way do you post your videos? Vertical, horizontal? Um, and I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Um, the clip is going to speak for itself, I think, there. But um, I don't know. I tell people to use the browser. Like, I link everything in my Discord. So I'm like, go like and GG my, uh, my browser link. And I don't know. I think some people use both. Mm. Um, I don't think I have a preference. Gotcha. By the way, your, your video keeps freezing. I don't know if that's on my end Ooh. or your end. You're getting some don't laggage there. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything on my end. No, no. Of can course you hear me all right, fine. though? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you fine, but it keeps, like, freezing. I, 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 I don't know if that's, uh... Our connection here on the, on the ninja. Internet's... Uh, um, are we, can, is, is my voice coming through okay, though? Yeah, it is. It's just your camera will, like, freeze periodically. I don't know. Weird. Yeah. Now that I say that, it's Weird. not doing it, but. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see it on stream, but I don't see it anywhere else. Hmm. That's Anywho, interesting. It wouldn't be an El Dirty Squirrel now, segment now, if we didn't have errors. Of course it freezes yeah. now that. <laughs> um, let me see if I can. Do you want me to disconnect and join back in? Um. Do we turn it off and turn it back on? It I usually works for me. If it freezes again, then we might do that. Um, okay. I, I, I click the button and I don't know if it mm -hmm. actually does anything, but okay. <laughs> the freeze frames are artistic. Um, yeah, that, that's actually one thing I noticed is that when you um, sign up, you have to use a, pho mm -hmm. a phone number and the yes. email is like totally optional. Like what? What? It's like, this, I mean, okay, <sighs> it did freeze again. All right, let's let's reboot. We, yeah. Let's that was a good freeze. Look at my face. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm kicking you off my screen, and then you can you can rejoin. 
Maybe it's freezing because I have hover o open. I don't know. I have no idea. Just don't move. Just... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Major criticism of hover was that it rewarded um, follow for follow and S for S. What's S for S? They've apparently fixed it, but I have many more. Wait, what's S for S? Sub? So, oh. all right, let's see if you're good now. Let's see. Wow, no. <laughs> no, still freezing. Is it freezing in the app or is it just freezing in your um, screen? Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty laggy on um. Let me see. I can try changing my camera. Um. That's not gonna work. Hmm. Is this this might be better, but Wow, we're really getting all the behind the scenes here. Yeah. Man, this is... <laughs> it's, it's still freezing. That's so weird. Um That is weird. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking at the video ninja settings and seeing if I can yeah. like Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you off, I think. Um I don't know uh. how to do this. Uh let's see. I'm trying to see if you freeze on the, the video ninja and Yeah, I haven't seen it on video ninja. I'm trying to stay moving so you can see it, you know? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just be like a a bobblehead, you know? Yeah. Or wacky <laughs> inflatable tube man. <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's you're not okay so maybe it's um i don't know why like why it would be my obs though or the yeah i don't know OBS. why either yeah let me give you a different link to join i was gonna say you could make a, a new link and maybe that would do it i'm gonna send you this link to join on uh you have your discord open uh discord or twitter whatever all right i'm sending it to you on discord okay try that one I don't even have to All right, I'm going to bounce out of this one. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, chat. Technical difficulties. I'm not sure why that's happening. I'm going to have to ask uh, Mr. Greggles about that. Because it's it's not freezing on my end. Uh, on the director's side, it's freezing. And we just had um, Pixie on, and it was totally fine. So I don't know why it would be broken. In. Okay, so now I need to... Do this and we'll see if it happens. If it happens, then I'm gonna be up. Oh, yep, it did. It, it's 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 already it's already lagging. Hmm. Yeah. I do know that like looking at the director side, it is pretty laggy. Your voice comes through fine. I mean, I, I mean, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll just deal with it, I guess. Uh, no audio for him. There we go. Sorry. All right. Oh, there we go. I didn't want you guys to hear our secrets. Oh, I just said my social security number. I hope nobody got it. No, I mean, I, I got it, but. <laughs> I ain't worried about you. That's totally fine. <laughs> um, Not worried about you. Okay, so. um. So. Where were we? Oh yeah, the, 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 there's a mobile app, desktop. What do you use mostly? I use both, oh, and no. um, and you you kind of have to right now because uh, th that was what I was saying. Some of the features aren't on both, but on you can't upload on the browser, which seems silly. What? And I'm sure they're getting to it. Yeah, I know. I... But what you but what you can do is upload it to the server, so you can upload your video. But I'm sorry, you can upload it, but you can't publish it. So then you have to go on your phone and publish the video that you uploaded. That's that's even that's even less. Um, <sighs> yeah. Logical. Well, it's yeah. Well, it actually works for me because like TikTok, if I want to upload the TikTok and I'm not sure I haven't uploaded from the browser, but I make a video then I put it on a OneDrive, I download it to my phone, I upload it to TikTok, then I go back and I delete everything. So at least with this, I can upload it on the browser and then get off the computer, go lay on the couch, whatever I'm doing, and, you know, upload it on my mm -hmm. phone and, and take care of it that way. And, uh, 
I primarily use it on the phone. The only thing I use browser for is uploading and then I go to the phone to publish everything. So gotcha. Um, so um, how long have you been using hover for? I'd say about two and a half months now. And like we went for the last month, we used it almost every day, twice a day, uploading one video. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now you've done a little bit more than just use hover because you were on some like mm -hmm. next level streamer thing, right? Next top streamer or something. <sighs> okay. So no, I wasn't technically on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I did. So you What's tried to be on kind of I tried and there's there's a lot to say there but they had a contest and this is kind of cool they had a what they call as next top streamer and it was a you know the winner won three thousand dollars I think or something around that and they had I guess to retain viewership they did not tell you if you were in it until they announced the top 16 right so I just thought I had a really good video. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to be in the top 16. But then I started seeing everybody else's video because they were posting them in Discord and Twitter. And I was like, oh, man, there's a lot of good videos. I might not be in it. And then the day came and they they did the top streamer thing. And um, there were a lot of videos, but none of the really, really good ones were on there. Hmm. And I was like, what's going on? And I think... And, and as much as I love Hover, I think they really wanted to showcase smaller streamers who weren't partnered or didn't have any you know really like right in the area where they're about to be partnered because i think hover wanted to be like look we made top streamer we got them partnered and it's happened yeah. both last times both of their top streamers who've won the competition have gone on to uh become partner now you could say did they gain some traction from the top streamer maybe did they get raided from Hover multiple times and other people? Like, maybe that helped them go over the edge. So, like, there, there's, I think there was an agenda there to their mm -hmm. top streamer, but I don't know, you know? But, like, it, it's still a great opportunity. And they're doing these things, uh, I think, two or three times a week. They have $250 competitions where you upload your, your top scares or your top fails or your dancing clips. Like, they have different competitions every week, two or three times. And they, they literally do pick... From a wide range of clips so like anybody's clip can get picked and then chat votes on it but they you don't know if you're, you're going to be in it or not which i guess is kind of cool because you can't like hype up your community to be there and like you know fluff mm. the vote i guess well i don't know because but, then everyone has to show up and be there and hope that they're in it right you know what i mean like right, instead right. Of, like only the people who made it you know show up it's right. everyone to ho goes hoping that <laughs> they made it right right and even if you did there's 15 other people with their communities there who are going to vote how they want to vote, you know? So, right, right. Uh, you, like, unless you have a huge community, you're not going to destroy. So that's a, that's the kind of cool part of Hover. Is that a cool part? Because it feels like it's like, you know, kind of just driven based on like what helps them the most. And also like, you know, people are just going to pick their, their streamer to win things. Right. So, um, you know, do you think that those are genuinely like really making an impact in this, the streamer ecosystem? I, I do. I don't think it's it's weighted at all. I feel like when I go to those competitions, I try to view when they're on. Like, I'm in their Discord, so I, I get pinged when they go off. And I go to them most of the time, but, like, it genuinely feels like there's a random, you know, a random pick of clips there. Um, and people are voting on them whether they like them. Mm. And th that usually gets a vote. I mean, they, they show the clip usually, like, two or three times. People laugh if it's good, and then they pick it, and it's it seems pretty genuine. And I've seen, like, very big streamers in there and they don't make it past the first round so like it's it's it seems genuine mm, gotcha. as far as the voting and stuff goes okay so then um how has it gone for you what kind of growth have you seen what kind of impact have you seen from using hover <laughs> is it be, it would be crazy to say probably like a 25 percent increase in viewership and is that from other stuff I've been doing, maybe. But since I've been posting there, I've seen a lot. It just, you know, when you're when you're feeling it, you you see a lot mm -hmm. of people come in and say, "Hey, I came in from Hover. I saw your clip on Hover. We're rating you because we saw you on Hover." Gotcha. Um, yeah. Um, they even have these random like so they randomly picked me off their front page. Team Hover did, and they challenged me to sing a song, and I won twenty five gift subs or something, whatever they were giving <laughs> out, and that was kind of cool. So like, they're constantly doing stuff. They're constantly involved. Mm -hmm. Um. 
it 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 they know it kind of does feel like follow for follow in their app mm -hmm. and they're working on that but like if you're smart enough to realize follow for follow you can kind of you know not be you know sucked into that yeah i think that's a big um, problem with a lot of small creators is they do get sucked yeah into that. they're ready to follow for follow or right right for us right. which i didn't even know was a thing support for support or something yeah um so i i, I feel like right. that's like pretty you know dangerous and i mean that's like it so is yeah. that's like kind of what i want to ask about is like um what who is using hover because i'm seeing streamers take the hover is it does it feel like it's just streamers networking with each other or is there a, a, a viewer base it's primary i would say it's 95 percent streamers mm. and that's that's something they're aware of too and they, uh, they they release the little transparency tweet they like to do a transparency tweet like once a month and let them know what's going on with the algorithm um things like that um and and i was in somebody else's channel who was like who was asking the chat you know who uses hover but isn't a streamer and there was there was a couple people put their hands up um and that's what it is it's a networking thing um but it's also very nice when it comes to that because you can select what game you view um you know your feed can be dictated on what games you want to see so you can get rid of that call of duty and fortnite if you're not into fps's and you can you know you just want to see phasmophobia clips or or dead by daylight and then it kind of you can kind of comment post like and then maybe get get in with those you know those people like that want to connect with other hover people mm, okay so and then it's oh go ahead no go ahead i lost my train of thought already <laughs> <laughs> wow that easy <laughs> yeah squirrel things you know yeah um okay so let me show chat uh hover yes. i'm on the desktop here browsing through mm -hmm. um so there's a live and a preview and a feed what are the differences between these three sure things? so if you're on live it's people that are live right now so you what can see mean? a clip from them oh they're, they're live on, on twitch. twitch yeah oh so you can click live see who's live see a clip that they may have posted within the last month if it's got traction or maybe it's a random, it depends on the algorithm, but you can click on visit right there where you see on their, uh, above their name and, uh, uh okay. you can join them right then. Gotcha. Okay. Now you're on the, what are you on the, is it say preview? preview? What's preview? Cause feed is a, like who you're following, right? You can follow. People. Right. Okay. But then I thought preview said discover. That's kind of weird. Has it always been preview? <laughs> Dude, I've experienced so many bugs. Okay. Like on the website. Yeah. It like was a pain to sign up. And like if I'm having trouble, then like the average <laughs> person is gonna have a tough time. Um which I, I get and they're so new it's such a new thing. Yeah. Which is and I know I'm I'm making it sound like the greatest thing, but it's it's been it's been an uphill battle. Like there's there's mm. always making changes, there's always new things and glitches. There's a bug that some people you can't unfollow, and I'm like, I have this one person who keeps showing up in my feed, I'm like, I wanna unfollow them. <laughs> So there are a lot of bugs, mm. but they're they're very open about it and they're they're very willing to help and put those on the docket to like get fixed. Yeah, so what's really weird is I went to the same page. I went to uh hover.gg and I got live discover and feed. So your preview Okay. Well maybe there. because you just signed up and still have to pick something. I don't know. Well, so it made me pick something. So yes, I yes. it makes you pick a category when you sign up and it's got basically what you would see on Twitch, right? And so I picked right. just chatting because I do a lot of just chatting content. And mm -hmm. um, I've got Valorant, Apex, <laughs> yeah. Rocket League, Fortnite. Um, there's a just chatting. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, Fortnite again, uh, Rocket League, Minecraft. Like, so mm -hmm. uh, like, what is, what, what is that with your algorithm? Do you feel like that it really because I mean the thing with TikTok is it's so good because you really it, they know how to find you the right, right people that you really want to see right like how do you feel about Hover's algorithm in comparison? So that's something I think they do need to work on is their algorithm. Now it's weird because I've been using it and I've got set up. I've started following people. Oh, see, it's not I've... letting me sign in. Okay, so it must have signed me out oh. for the million. What? What? How did I get here? What? <laughs> oh, jeez, man. All right, what let's go back over here. How did I get to hover.com? Dot GG. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. I, I tried to X out of that screen and it took <laughs> me to hover.com. That's weird. I keep, but the thing is, it's like I'm signed in. Uh, like this thing, like I, I, right here, it's got loco right here in the corner. And yeah, that's weird. 
like but it, it's like acting like i'm not signed in but i am signed in it's just like the, so this is what i've been dealing with this morning just trying to sign up and learn about like right. the site which is again just not a good user experience like i understand <laughs> yeah it's you know what's crazy is because i've heard people that want to sign up have had these kind of bumps mm. but i feel like when i signed up it was easy i was fine like but i understand if you're having those hiccups like oh why do i want to be here um but i don't i don't know what's going on i don't know what's going mm. on there with the sign up i hope we get it worked out now i am seeing more just chatting i'm seeing games sprinkled in between but i definitely am seeing a little bit yeah. more just chatting now that i am signed in and now okay so okay so one thing that i'm well i don't want to change the subject but i am already so one thing i'm noticing is like a lot of these are TikTok formats. Some are straight up TikToks, right? This person just mm -hmm. posted their TikTok. Um, but then right. some are widescreen, um, which when you're on desktop is fine, right? You're scrolling and you can watch it in whatever format. But what is the experience like when you're scrolling on um, on your on your phone and like you're getting all these, you get a mix of these that fit the phone, but then these that, you know, do they get resized or, or what? It's it's the same as TikTok. So your your widescreen is gonna look it's gonna be shrunk. Your oh, wide so screen it's gonna, gonna get the black to your, bars. Yeah, well you're gonna get the top and bottom bars and you're gonna get a really small but you can turn your phone and get it the full viewing experience if you wanted. Gotcha. Um okay. it's and that's that's the tough part, right? Like I I've been posting videos tall and wide and I'm like, I don't know which one does better. Mm. Um I seem it's I'm still trying to figure out. I think the wider is better, even if you're viewing on phone. If you want to watch the clip, turn your phone, you'll be able to see it wide. But like, I stream wide, you should get my clips wide. Like, that's mm. how I feel. So, see, I would disagree with that because TikTok, really? because when I see p creators post their TikToks and they do wide and it's so tiny with all the black bars on the side, like, I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's like, yeah, you could say technically you could throw things on the side, but that's just not how TikTok works. People, want to see their videos in that vertical format like they just want to swipe mm -hmm. and they want, want to, don't want to have to do this with their phone you know like and so um you know because yeah. of that <laughs> i feel like when you're scrolling on your phone people that are using hover are going to be used to tiktok right they're gonna right like be used to the habits of, of scrolling and going through the feed so um you know i feel like because the vertical format kind of caters to you know that's that, that habit and it's you know still be totally viewable um you know when you're on desktop i feel like that's gonna be mm -hmm. it's gonna be better yeah but, yeah okay so anyways, i agree tell me about the algorithm like how do you feel like are, are the right people finding you and do you feel like you get traction outside of like just the people that you normally engage with so like to, to compare it to tiktok like I think we talked about this, but like I've never had somebody come over and be like, yo, I saw your videos on TikTok. They were really cool. So I came over to your Twitch channel. Uh, on the other foot, like I've had easily 25, 30 people be like, hey, I saw your TikTok. I thought I'd join in here. So like I already like noticed the difference. You mean from hover? Posting on, or hover, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tick hover, hover Twitch, Twitch, Mixer, but all. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I've noticed more people are making you know they've made it more accessible to jump over and see your see your clips and and again it's like you said it's more twitch streamers using i feel like on mm. tiktok i get a lot of funny videos right like the uh, the the guy making his face the guy you know dancing i like that stuff but they don't have a twitch stream that i'm gonna go view that stuff at right like at least here like if i see somebody make these really cool plays or cool effects i can be like man i need to go check this person's stream out and i can do that and I think that's the point with Hover is they want to, it's trying to get people on to, to, to discover. Mm. And I feel like. Discover. Discoverability is what's missing on Twitch. It really yeah. is like, go to the, go to any clips of your own and then see what it recommends. And it recommends like what the really big top streamers that have like 20,000 views, right? Like mm. it's crazy. Yeah. At least with Hover and their algorithm. I think the way they have it set up is they're they're showing they they recently did away with their their GGs, which was their like um, kind of currency. Like if you had a huge amount of GGs, then you were thrown into the algorithm one out of ten spots. Like it would pick from mm. a good GGs, which was kind of cool. But I think they're doing away with that now, and now they're doing like they they want to show new stuff, anything that's getting traction, um, anything with a lot of likes. Mm. Uh, it's a good heavy mix. And like even my videos, I drop my videos and they usually get like 
around I'm averaging about 100 unique views on those videos uh, every two or three days. I usually like plateau off on those videos. So, I mean, that's pretty good, I think, for for being new on there, you know, and I, I think with the user base that's on there, not too many people on there yet. So these people that have come by um, mm -hmm. your stream, you say they found you from Hover. Mm -hmm. Do you find that it's usually like another creator that wants to connect with you? Or is it someone who genuinely likes your content and, you know, kind of becomes a regular? I feel like it's been both. I've seen some people stop by regular. I've I've seen people now that have like constantly raiding me. They're like, we love your stuff. We're going to raid you every time we can. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay cool. Uh, it's and it's both. And it's it's still some people that pop by and say, hey, I saw your hover is really cool. And then I never see him again. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like it is the game, I guess. But um, more so, I would say pos more positive interactions than negative or blank or false ones, you know? Yeah. And that's probably just because it's small and very like community feeling still, right? Like you yeah. probably see the same people in your feed. And um, mm -hmm. uh, so what like in your opinion, um, what compels viewers? And because that's like the big key, right? That's that's the unspoken rule here. I mean, this is what happened to mixers. They were very good at getting creators over and getting them excited about mixer. And again, same kind of like mindset, but ultimately, you know, it couldn't succeed because no one wanted to go over there and watch. So what is mm -hmm. going to get a viewer over to watch hover over, you know, TikTok or just the people that they already know and like? Yeah, I think it's um, it's it's getting the best of your streamer, right? Like, so if your streamer is putting out their their top clips the next day, you can go if you don't have the time to digest the whole VOD, if you don't have the time to watch a show, like at least you can hop on here and digest like the funny moments or the best parts um, of that show. I think that's probably the best reason for a viewer per mm. se to hop on there. And if a viewer really loves your channel, and really wants to support your channel, or maybe they can't monetarily or they want to support it in other ways, liking your videos and commenting on them is another way to boost your, you know, you on the algorithm. So that helps too. Mm. That's what I, I, that's what I've been telling my viewers. I was like, look, if you can't support or you want to support more, like go there and up, help my views. Like, let's go. Okay. So, um, so we talked about discoverability. We talked about, you mm -hmm. know, you pick a couple games you want to check out. You'll get served videos from those categories. Um, is there any more intricate discoverability outside of that? Like, does it look at, um, you know, is there a tagging system or a keywords or, mm -hmm. you know, like any, any of those things? Yeah, you can tag uh, people and keywords. Like tag? There's what hashtags. do you mean by tagging people? Like someone uh, similar video? to Twitter. Yeah, similar to Twitter. Like if you were like if you were gonna post this, you could tag me and be like, "This was me and L Dirty Squirrel talking about Hover." Nice, nice, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the interface kind of gives me that TikTok vibe. You know, you got the view count mm -hmm. in the corner. Um, can mm -hmm. you customize the thumbnail? I don't think so. Currently, no. So just it just like picks a random like screenshot, basically. Yeah, and I think it's taking. It's hard to tell. It looks like it's taking a random screenshot. I don't think that's the beginning of the videos. I think it's trying to catch the beginning of the video though. Mm. Gotcha. And so, how long are are the videos? Like, what's the the cap on those? Sixty seconds is the max. Gotcha. So it's like what TikTok yeah. was and what YouTube it, Shorts is now. Is it? I'm not familiar. Was TikTok has TikTok increased? Yeah, TikTok is up to three minutes now, actually. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, interesting. Okay, so what do you think is, um, the biggest necessity for improvement on Hover right now? I think getting people signed up, like, if you're having issues getting signed up, like, that's, ugh. <laughs> like, <laughs> It needs to be easy. You need to get on there and be able to start viewing your friends' clips and seeing everything that you want to see. I, I don't think uh, all these troubles they're having. Mm. I, I also think, like you said, you've noticed people talking about it. I think they've seen an increase in people joining. Yeah. And I'm sure they're dealing with the, you know, the increased volume of users. So hopefully they iron that out. They, I mean, they're... They're, they're always talking about what they're working on. So they're very transparent and telling about new features and stuff they want to work on and, you know, what's behind the scenes on the algorithms. So, and they're very open to suggestions. So I think that's really good, at least for somebody starting out. And look, I wouldn't be surprised if Twitch 
I wouldn't, I don't think they'll buy them out or anything, but like, I wouldn't be surprised if Twitch does something similar because Twitch's discoverability is pretty <laughs> bad right now. Twitch has like, needed to do something like this for many years yes, at this point. Like, it's, and that's what I've said, like, I just go to your own like clip page and see how awful it is, like what's recommended and what's, and it's like, I don't know what I, you know, what would be nice is that they had, and, and they're kind of doing this with their competitions, but to have a, a panel of people pick out clips and like, you know, show you 10 clips a day that this panel has picked out. Like that would be kind of cool because, you know, then you get to discover some new stuff or, mm. you know, something somebody else thought was nice that maybe, you know, like might not be discovered. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I think content curated by humans. That'd be interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, which I mean, they are kind of doing with their their contest. So like they pick those clips out. So um, that's yeah, kind of cool. Gotcha. I guess. So um, so let, let's get a recommendation here for for you sure. from or from you for creators. Let's say smaller creators, creators my size, it's and large creators. And based on how much time you're spending um on Hover. Is it worth mm -hmm. signing up now or is it worth waiting and seeing what happens? Oh, you get in now for anything, even if like, so if this duds out in a couple months, which I don't think it will, you should still get in, right? Like, <laughs> at least get your account on there, get it made. Um, but I think even this, even the small, medium, large creators can find huge success. I've seen one of each, you know, mm. um, and they're, they're doing it on hover and, you know, it can't hurt and they make it very easy. So if you're already putting your videos on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter, just blow it on there while you're, you know, while you're doing it. It's one more upload, mm. but it's, it's another one of those things. It's what you get out. You get out what you put in. So if you're on there and you're commenting and you're liking, or you're checking people out and being like, Hey, I wanted to check out your channel or this was a really cool video. How did you do that? You're going to get more interaction and reaction. But if you're just posting videos and be like, why am I not gaining any traction? Well, it's like, you kind of got to, you kind of, you got to put in what you get out. So that's the other thing. Okay, so let me throw this back at you then. Um, mm -hmm. Are you posting the clips that you post on here on TikTok? I haven't used TikTok in maybe a month now. Mm. I just haven't seen, I just don't know. And I should be, but I've just been lazy about it. Like, but I just haven't seen any traction from well, the time I was on TikTok. Well, just one more thing to upload. I now. know, you know, I know, yeah. but like, yeah, but you, you have me. a pool of like way more people. Like if you're posting a clip here and it's doing well, then that potentially could do 10, 100 times better on TikTok. You know that, right? Like they actually Maybe. have viewers <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, look, I have started using TikTok this year. Um, I post five times a week. So like, like mm -hmm. you're posting twice a day right now. That's good because TikTok loves posting regularly. Um, and I've been seeing growth. I mean, my videos are getting, uh, 500 plus views and I have yeah, people yeah. coming in like, you, like your experience with hover. I'm having people come in on the daily. Hey, found you from TikTok, found you from TikTok, and they do come back. Um, yeah. so if you are taking the time to cut a one minute clip, you know, that's ideal for hover, it's going to be ideal for TikTok. And, um, like you said, for hover, there's no loss in uploading to one more platform, you know, except with TikTok, right. you have. Just way better discoverability. The app works, and your the pool of people that will find you is just much greater. I agree. I I agree that they are. Excuse me. They are you know bigger, and that's you know if you want to grab from a bigger slice. But I think hovers not trying to take from TikTok. I think they're trying to get the Twitchers. I think they're trying to get the people that are on Twitch, and that's why like they have mm -hmm. the link set up, and it's all about gaming and clips. And uh, I don't know. I think it's you know. I think it's going to be something. I like it. Gotcha. See though. We'll see though. We'll like see. I, I don't know. But now, now, now you got me. I'm like, I, I all right, I'm going to try using TikTok a little <laughs> bit more. Let's take the exact content and see where I get more from, you know? But the other thing is my, my content's usually like, are you posting your stuff on TikTok vertical? Yeah. Yeah. No. Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. So like most of my funny gags and stuff are horizontal or clips are horizontal. So. Hmm. I don't know. So it's kind of interesting. Well, I don't know. I don't think that they do well on TikTok for that reason. If but you maybe make I'm them, just crazy. I mean, if you make them vertical, like it's going to be good for hover anyways. Right. So then but you're just again, you're right. And also you're talking about a one minute clip that also fits for YouTube shorts. So now for the work of one video, 
you're tapping mm -hmm. into three massive platforms. I mean, well, two massive platforms and you no know, hover uh, and, yeah. you know, potentially getting like, you know, again, that's just more opportunities for eyes. Like you're already doing the work of finding the clips and editing them. So, you know, if you just take one extra step to make them vertical, now you can just repost them on, on three platforms that could help you. All right. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, if you have unfortunately for twitch there's no discoverability so posting your stuff anywhere can't hurt right yeah like and we all need to be doing it more i guess yeah absolutely absolutely um so yeah we'll see how hover like goes and mm -hmm. how it develops i mean you know keep me posted on your on your thoughts and um, of course and you know we'll probably talk about it again at some point um you know uh, it it's definitely you know been on my radar because a lot of creators have been starting up and checking it out and um mm -hmm. you know so it'd be cool to do it again talk about this again a little bit down the road see what's changed and maybe get a couple of the creators on and see you know what their experiences have been too so yeah i you know what my biggest thing i hope comes out of it is twitch is like oh wow we need some discoverability like maybe we should do something like this and then i would love that you That'd know be they, <laughs> they've got the money and the, they've got the money and the tech to do something bigger what's cool about hover is their startup like all this money is mm -hmm. you know whatever they make off their streams and you know investors i guess put in i don't know if they have investors or not but like well they, they're from, you know monetized right like so they must have no yeah investment money then right so i don't know exactly how that works but so like at least if twitch saw it and decided to do something at least they have money to like build something hopefully but mm. that's the like that would be what i hope comes out of all of this but we'll see which is just gonna buy hover <laughs> i don't think they'll just buy it but Twitch has never really have they done that before? They, it didn't really they work out curse, when they curse, but they didn't they curse right. <laughs> basically killed it, you know, like right, right, right. So like, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know. That's you'd think they would understand the value of this, mm -hmm. but okay. Like, how can you how mm -hmm. can you look at TikTok and just not be like, oh, we have an inherent system for making short videos that are a minute long that could be shared and right. Uh, so, no, like the world's moving so quick. Like everybody's on the toilet viewing our clips. Like nobody, right. like you need, you need fast stuff. You need yes. fast content clips and the short, the short content, because we're all here on the, you know, we're on Twitch and we're putting five, six hour shows. Like that's long content. Mm -hmm. we, like we need a way to like get the small content while we're on the go or something. Right. You know? I mean, nobody has time to watch all that anymore. Right. Like, right. Like I'm actually surprised when somebody's like, they say, you, you know, you have your viewers that come in and say hello and they talk through the whole stream and then they say goodbye. I'm like, you were here the whole time. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't have eight hours to just be hanging out with you. I think a lot of people I just, know. you know, when they're they're at work or something, you know, like I don't picture. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I literally don't picture a single viewer of mine, like having it full screen straight on, like watching it right. gently and just typing. Eating pop you yeah, know? just eating popcorn and be like, yeah, <laughs> so good. I can't wait for the next seven hours. <laughs> no, I, I always picture like it's in the background and yeah. people, they, they, they go off screen to type or the other monitor or something. And like, yeah, you know, they're in the other room. They run in the type poggers when something epic happens. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, they just yeah. watch while they're, you know, cooking or something. But yeah. 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 All right. So my my yes. my homework assignment for you is to use TikTok sure. more. Is to do right. your videos vertical and then try posting to three. Like, do you have a YouTube channel? We do. Okay. We do. We do. We do. There you go. So um, post that same video. I is shorts working there because I've tried shorts and I've gotten mm. zero traction on. It's... But like you have the hashtag shorts. Yeah, it's weird. We should. Right we'll now. talk off stream maybe and see if I can figure it out. But. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put all the stuff on all the platforms, all of it. Yeah, yeah. Let me know how the uh, TikTok stuff goes, cause um, yeah. like it's gonna be funny, like when that surpasses Hover, and you're like, why was I wasting time when I could have? No, no, no. <laughs> but I've been on I've been on Hover and I've posted my stuff, and like maybe I get more I get more views, but I don't get more I don't gain any traction there, mm. if that makes sense. But I also I don't get many more likes. Mm. The like to view ratio on on TikTok is I just feel like people are like, oh, what is this? Ugh. <laughs> like I get the view, but they were like, oh, no, thanks. That's because they probably saw that know. it was horizontal. They're like, I don't want to turn my phone. Up. No, I've done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done vertical stuff on there. Most of my stuff is vertical, I think. OK, well, I don't know. post post uh, if you're posting twice a day, I think I think you could gain some traction. I'll, I'll, I'll stream doctor you. OK, on TikTok. All right. No, I'm next week starting. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make a plan to put two videos on TikTok per day, like and that. then we'll have this conversation in 30 days, and we'll see. Yes. Okay. I accept that. We'll see. Yep. Cool. All right, Squirrel. Thank you so much for joining us. Our resident Loco. cover expert. No, no, I just use it. I'm not an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Our resident. You guys should scrub. all go use it. And if you want to sign up for Hover, sign up and use my code Two Nut for you. Two Nut. Type it in chat. Two Nut for you. They. And unfortunately, you can make your own. You can make your own referral code. And unfortunately, it can't be. It's supposed to be Two Nuts for you. Uh, like Two Nutty, Two Furious. I got but, you. Uh, one letter short. I, I get it. Yeah. Do not for you. There you go. Do not for you. <laughs> All right. It is my light. It's my license plate on my uh, spaceship. Nice. Come check me out sometime. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Mods, link up Squirrel's channel and uh, we'll see you see around. All right. Thanks for having me. See you guys. No problem. All right. So, yeah. Hover. Great questions in chat. Thank you guys for helping uh, throw some questions in there. Um, that was good. That was good. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, it seems a little too buggy and like, like it's, it says it's mostly about networking right now. It's like, I don't have the bandwidth, right? I don't have a bandwidth network and like, you know, like engage with other people. Like my TikTok's going and I don't touch it. I don't look at my TikTok. I look at the views every once in a blue moon because Camdell crushing it. She's she does all my TikTok stuff, and um, so I don't look at it. I don't interact, and I don't want to interact with people. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, if you want to interact, you just come here, and I will talk to you. <laughs> um, you know, I just I just don't have that bandwidth, but um, I definitely will be keeping my eye on it. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. They do like they don't post it on their twitter they post it like like the ceo or something i don't know if they retweet it but um they post like transparency like twit longers i guess and yeah there's like a hover transparency twit longer anyways it seems interesting. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Cam Dell, yeah, Cam Dell is the MVP. Oh, show. I like the idea, but it seems more for creators. Because I love that joke. I love it with all my heart. Well, I mean, no, I don't think it seems more for creators. I think, like, I think there's value, you know, for. Oh, sorry, Booker. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were, like, right under me. <laughs> um no I, I mean it's 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 basically tiktok so you scroll and you look at clips and you watch funny clips and you follow your favorite streamers blah 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 it's just tiktok but like really just hyper focused on like streamers i don't even know if it's like you know that that's, that was a question i should have asked was like is it for uh, other streamers outside twitch is there like other integrations red booker <laughs> The timing of these is interesting. The first one was 24 hours after Rora Pickle, Pickle spoke out against them. And now this one, 24 hours after HH said he was looking at it. Who's HH? Oh, Harris Heller? What? Why speak out against it? I, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with that. Someone mentioned that um, one of their top creators is uh, a notorious notorious grifter in the industry um which is not a good look but you know what can they do they're not gonna kick him out you know uh let's see i'm looking at harris's tweets let's see i don't see anything about this I'm a looking. Lots of great info today. Yes. Yes. Lots of good stuff. Not yet. Okay. So it's just like Twitch streamers right now. What's up? Don't bill me. Been working since 2 30 a.m. Dude. Dude. Get some sleep. Wow. Hope you're okay. He said in a reply to someone. Oh. I mean, look. 
right now it does feel very I want to I don't know if it feels cultish because someone else said that I I mean I, I it's impossible for me to say anything about that right now but it definitely feels very like mixer it just feels like mixer is the best way I can put it where it's like streamers working I think too hard trying to make hover work when there are really great options out there already that like they they're popular for a reason and it that feels clicky like I think for the work that you're already doing for hover like if you just do that for these two other platforms I think you will eventually see way more success I mean my TikTok has been doing very well. I've been getting people coming in. It's getting views. I've, I'm about to hit a thousand um, followers and it's just clips from my stream that I turn vertical and put captions on. So, you know, same kind of process. Um, you know, it's just it's just about, um, you know, using up to five hashtags. And um, and again, you can customize your thumbnail too. So you can you can actually make your thumbnail like, you know, put some text on it and pick like the, the piece that it captures. So. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I think like if creators are going to use hover, like that they should use it if it makes sense. Like if they're already making those videos for TikTok and, and, and shorts, then sure. Like throw it on, uh, throw it on hover as well. And if you're trying to network with new streamers and more streamers, you're trying to expand your circle, that can be really great. That, that can be a great way to find people and, and, and quickly find someone's vibe, right? Like. Instead of having to go to their channel and then go to the clips tab and then go through the clips like or go to the stream and watch for a certain amount of time, you know, you go and, um, you know, you go to hover and you scroll and you find people in your category. It'd be a great way to find other streamers. And for viewers, I do see the value, but like, I, I, like, again, it, it, like. You have to make it um, more appealing. Um, have to make it like more appealing for for viewers too we both have just one more platform yeah yeah i'm i'm not blocked why are you guys being blocked sloth and i are blocked by the app on twitter wait what you're blocked by hover i guess you're you're not hovers you're haters and that was that was that was kind of a stretch i don't know how do we feel about that one pulse check how was that one not good i know i, I kind of cringed after that that was that was rough they blocked a lot of creators for asking questions oof now, how did you ask the question though? Okay. People are getting blocked for asking about a situation they had. Okay, what is the situation that they had? You write it only if it makes sense. I think if you're already making those clips on Twitch, you can always edit them, post them on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and however, yeah. But the priority should be TikTok number one, Shorts number two, and then Hover number three. If you don't have the bandwidth to get to number three, which I'm saying right now that I don't, it's just not worth it right now. I don't think. Um, I think TikTok really should be everyone's number one priority. It, it, it is it is huge. And just because it's not working right now doesn't mean it won't work ever, right? It just is about learning, practicing. Again, I'm going to plug SolarStream because we talk about TikTok. We've interviewed uh, successful TikTok creators and we have information about how to use that platform. and really is a lot is a lot of emphasis is on experimentation 